traditional Caribbean stew chicken. Your ancestors will be proud when you rock this recipe. Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com. Always a pleasure having you guys here in the kitchen with me. In my bowl here, I've got an entire chicken, so a whole chicken that I broke down, plus six chicken thighs. So there's probably about six pounds of chicken here. I tried to remove all the skin, well, most of the skin that I can on a chicken wing. Yeah, the chicken wing is the only thing with the skin still on there. Remove most of the fat. If you wash your chicken, go ahead and wash your chicken with your vinegar, your lime, your lemon, whatever it is. I ain't trying to heat on anybody because I grew up doing that and I still do it. Up to you. Um, season. We got salt. I like using sea salt. Uh, black pepper. Now the only reason why I'm doing this recipe again, because if you've been following me here on uh, across social media, whether it's uh, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, you'll know I've already done this recipe. But a while ago, about a week or two ago, I did tomato, an entire scotch bonnet pepper, totally optional, up to you, a large onion sliced up. I did what was called a Jamaican brown stew chicken and everybody and the granny had a comment about it. What makes it uniquely Jamaican? That's not the right way to do stew chicken. All kind of ridiculous comments so I'm on comeback hard. The best way I see fit to prove because a mango store a bitter that's a Trimbegonian thing. The best way I see is action is louder than words so action yeah i also like and i saw mommy would always do this a little bit of worcestershire a little lean parents so so far salt black pepper scotch bonnet pepper um onion tomato the angostura bitters the lean parents i'm going to go in with some grated ginger skin and everything don't hate on that i'm going to grate that in there and a good stew chicken must a must is that flavor of ginger in there now remember ladies and gentlemen if you're new to ginger it will also give it a peppery note so please be mindful of that and the key ingredient to a good stew chicken of course the caribbean green seasoning that recipe is available at caribbeanpod.com so i'm going in with one two tablespoons of that Caribbean green seasoning and that is it there is no need for all-purpose seasoning for paprika for all them other jazz that is as basic as it gets ladies and gentlemen please listen to me all you will do then is give that a good mix and you want to allow that to marinate for at least two hours yeah two hours and I'm sure if you saw that Jamaican brown stew chicken that I did you have already seen the difference in the seasoning part of things just look how nice that looks now oh papa you I'm gonna give that a good mix in the fridge for a couple hours overnight even better even better and that Caribbean green seasoning would have scallion thyme Spanish thyme cilantro culantro shadow benny garlic seasoning peppers all the herbs we like using in the Caribbean. Heavy pot, one tablespoon olive oil. You can use whatever oil you like. I just like rocking the olive oil and you want about a tablespoon and a quarter, a tablespoon and a half of golden brown sugar. Now you need a dry spoon, ladies and gentlemen. Your pot must be dry. When you add that oil to it, high heat, that sugar is gonna melt. It's gonna go all over the bottom of that pan there, that pot. It is going to go frothy and then it's going to go a deep amber in color. At that point, and we've gone through this before, is when we'll add the seasoned chicken to the pot. If it goes black, shut the stove down, allow it to cool completely, wash it, and start over. But for now, we're waiting for that to melt. I like moving around the sugar as it melts in my pot here. Simple because, and I like starting with oil. Some people don't start with oil. Some people say don't move the sugar around. I like moving it around because that corner and this corner, I know I have hot spots <clears throat> on my burner, which translate to hot spots in my pot. So I'm just going to move that around. And ladies and gentlemen, you want to be quick. You want to have the seasoned chicken waiting and ready next to you. And at no point do you wet the, the spoon, no? 
Notice how it's not too frothy. It's gonna go very um, smoky in here, so you want to open up the windows and turn the stove, the fan over your stove on as well. And here comes that smoke I'm talking about. And you notice the dark spots. So some places going darker than others, so that's why I'm moving around the sugar. And if you compare this video to the Jamaican stewed chicken brown stew, you will already see the difference. So I urge you to go and check out that video. For those of you who doubted me, please check that video. Plus, in the Southern Caribbean, traditional stew chicken is not called brown stew. It's kind of being repetitive because it is brown. We don't need to highlight the fact that it is brown. We got that lovely color happening there. So here's where now we're going to start adding the chicken and moving it around. Yep, marinade and everything. Now, if this is your first time watching the process of brown stew with the sugar, and you're wondering if it's going to be sweet, I can guarantee you it will not be sweet. I'm going to toss everything in there. The same bowl where we marinated the chicken, you want to put about a cup and a half of water and push it around and hang on to it. After about a minute or so of moving it around, you notice all the pieces are coated nice and brown there. What we're going to do is turn the heat down to medium and we'll put the lid on there. A couple things is going to happen. It's going to spring its own natural juices and it's going to help in the sort of braising process. But remember, we still have water in the bowl where we marinated the chicken. So lid on, it's going to spring up its own liquid and we'll continue from there. Had that bubble go in there for about 10 minutes as I said and if you didn't notice I had the lid slightly ajar so after it came up to a boil with the lid closed I allowed it to breathe like that and I want to impress on you all that one of the reasons why I purposely use and you can use chicken breast only or chicken thighs or chicken drumsticks and stuff like that that's totally option up to you I use an entire chicken because I wanted to show you our forefathers ate the backs, the neck, the everything. So everything is in this pot. We're going to crank up back the heat now to intensify the flavor of the stew. We're going to burn off all that liquid that you're seeing there until we come back to the oils that we started with. Then we're going to add the braiding, braising liquid. My, I got tongue tied today, boy. I know what's going on. I ain't know. It'll take about five minutes and you can see the color has intensified most of that liquid is gone and that is where that is the building blocks of three things the flavor the color and the sort of texture and consistency later on of your gravy and that is why i like adding tomato into my marinade because that yo is very helpful in making that nice gravy after now same high heat the water, we spoke about that earlier, I'm just going to make sure that water gets everywhere. Grab the remaining onions and stuff like that, like so. And I like to go in with some scallion here now, even though there's a ton of scallion in that green seasoning, I like to repeat it. If you have some fresh thyme, you can put that in there as well. I have here some pimento peppers, or seasoning peppers, again. That was also in the marinade, and this is what it looks like. No heat, but a ton, a ton of flavor. So if you can find that, by all means, I encourage you to use it. We're just going to tuck everything down. I'm going to turn my heat down to medium. I'm mean, just going to braise that for another five minutes or so until the chicken is fully cooked. And then voila! It's a matter of personalizing it at that point, and that is tasting it for salt, adjusting the salt, and the consistency of the gravy. But the lid is going on there now. I'm going to turn my heat down slightly ajar. Remember that space, yeah? Ten minutes later. Now I know <clears throat> my pot will retain a lot of heat. So my gravy is a little runny at this point. But that residual heat will thicken things up for me. Taste it for salt, adjust it. And yo, you just learn how to make traditional Caribbean stew chicken your ancestors would be proud when you rock this recipe Chris here CaribbeanPod.com always a pleasure having you guys here in the kitchen with me <laughs> sup soldiers listen 
If you enjoy this recipe, I'd really appreciate it if you hit subscribe and click that bell notification thing. If you've made the recipe, take a picture and send it to me, email address down here. I'm mean, trying to tell people the email address, then butts will take the address and do all kind of thing with it. And tag me on Instagram at Caribbean Pod. I really appreciate you guys and thanks for being in my kitchen with me today. Irene, Irene. I urge you to head over to that uh, Jamaican brown stew chicken and you will see the difference. My friends who were debating and all had all the comments and everything. There you go. That there is traditional stew chicken.